<laughs> okay. That's not fun. Well, I've crashed the DJI drone already. A little bit of a scuff, but no problem. DJI repair tape, 300 quid off the DJI store. Much cheaper than buying the Care Refresh package. Okay, let's go for a line of sight flight with this guy. I'm gonna turn the drone on first and then the controller. I'm gonna be flying this in full manual mode or acro mode as we know it in the hobby. Uh, a problem with flying in manual mode that we don't have in the hobby is the fact that if you leave the manual mode button pressed and then turn the quad off and back on, it goes back to normal mode. And that's a problem because the way you arm this guy is with a double tap here, which isn't going to work. So I'm gonna to have to go back into normal mode, into manual mode, and now the double tap arming works. Something I'm glad that they've really added a switch would have been nicer, but a single tap on this is no good because you accidentally press these buttons. So if you accidentally pressed the disarm button, then it just fall out the sky. So throttle down here and double tap of this and it arms. So I can take off here in full acro mode or manual mode. I've got the rates set to around about 750 degrees per second for the max velocity, which is a little bit higher than I usually have. But you can see, I can do my normal acro flying. There's a nice loop, a light. is getting a little bit low today. I have got the goggles plugged in back there. What I was finding is that when the goggles weren't plugged in, it was leaving manual mode and going back into normal mode. Now one problem I see flying this model in full acro is the fact that the batteries cost 139 GBP compared to what, the 22 GBP a 6S battery like this would cost on a hobby quadcopter. Now the problem with that price is the fact that I can do this. That is full throttle. Now, <laughs> people will try and argue with me that, oh, the DJI battery management system will mean that you can have you know, hundreds and hundreds of flights, but everyone in the comments of this video and my subscribers will tell you that I don't care how good your battery management system is, you are giving it death on full throttle. That battery is gonna be dead in about 50 flights and that is an expensive battery to keep doing that with. now. I would say DJI are hedging their bets that most people are just going to fly in sport mode with this guy because if I smash this right now, it's gonna be in pieces and be very expensive. So most people aren't gonna be flying it like this, especially line of sight. But this is how I'm flying this model with loads of power. I can actually hear the voltage sagging there. I can actually hear it. And voltage sag is not a good thing. It does feel limited. So I think, you know, when people talk about the battery management system, then, you know, they will have put a limit on there. We call that a throttle limit so that we don't destroy our batteries as quickly. But I'm telling you, there is no way you're going to get lots of cycles from this battery with them allowing it to throttle up like that. Every time it does that, that is death for a battery. And you know, if you just hover this thing around, 
then yeah, you will get near to a 20 minute flight time. But if you fly it full acro like this, you know, on full throttle, you could have a five to four minute flight time. Those are the flight times that we see with our hobby drones. And guess what? Our batteries last about 50 cycles if we are lucky. So this is where you might want to consider getting into a hobby FPV drone because it's going to be much cheaper on the batteries. But I have to say, this is fun. When it comes to, you know, people say, oh, it flies like uh, Clean Flight or Beta Flight 2016. I think people have been a bit harsh on it there. I think it's better than that. I think you can actually fly it pretty smooth. You need to mess with the rates. You can get good results out of it. But it's quite the price you pay to get those results. Let's see if I can get a bit of a screenshot of it, eh? One thing I do like about this is flying it line of sight is I can see how much battery I got left. <laughs> I tell you what, you cannot see the LEDs very well for line of sight. I thought, oh, that would be great for orientation for beginners, but actually, they're not that bright. And the sun's shining on them. But, you know, you can't hear any wobbles. Any wobbles you can hear coming from my fingers. The controller, I'm not used to. It's like an FR Sky X Lite. But as you can see, I can throw it around like an FPV hobby drone. I remember people saying, DJI are going to bring out a freestyle drone that flies just like a hobby drone. Well, that's actually not true. It flies just like a freestyle model. And it flies very good. What it's not good at is crashing. And speaking of crashing, I, uh, I don't want to jinx it, so. What I do like is the disarm thing. So I can just quickly disarm it. Two presses, disarm. Now this is really good. This is a good thing. Everybody doing acro with this guy needs to have that quick arm and disarm. If you crash, double tap quick because the last thing you want is those props spinning. Anyways, that is the DJI FPV drone flown line of sight in manual or acro mode.